Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install some tailgate letter inserts on my new Ford Maverick. Please stay tuned and continue watching until the end because I'm going to show you how I went from this original stock plain design to this really nice and beautiful Ford Maverick tailgate lettering that it definitely pops out. And I'm going to show you how I did everything in a little bit. If you want to learn how to do all kinds of handyman DIY projects, including more videos on my new Ford Maverick, then you're in the best place here on YouTube since that's all we do here. Consider subscribing to our channel and activate the notification bell so that way you don't miss out on any future videos that we're going to be uploading. I finally just got my tailgate lettering inserts for my 2022 Ford Maverick in a matte black color and I bought this from Limitless Parts and it came from Amazon. I'll link the product in the description so if you want to get this for your truck maybe you can get it ahead of time and so that way you can install it especially by watching this video you're going to learn how to do it and save yourself some few dollars. And so this is the lettering right here. It comes in the, the full package. And I heard on some people, they said that the R is like backwards or something, but I didn't see that to be the case. So I definitely recommend for you to get this one. And the first thing that you're going to want to do before applying the stickers is you want to make sure to clean up that area nice and well. I'm using a microfiber cloth that I wet and I just removed all the excess water. So I'm just basically scrubbing that area making sure all the insert portion that just cleaning it as best as I can. Once you do that, then you can go ahead and get the like a different cloth. And with that one, you can dry everything. So that's what I'm doing right here is just taking my time. Now, you don't want to be doing this in a rush or just trying to do it in a hurry because this lettering, it's kind of like detail work. So you definitely just want to take your time. It doesn't take too long either way. So once you wet it, you clean it, you dry it, then the package, it comes with these alcohol little cleaners. So you basically, you want to get that little alcohol cloth and we just want to rub it lightly in all of the letters. So that's what I'm doing right here is just going through each one of the letters that say Maverick and just making sure that I'm rubbing that alcohol um, cloth all over. And once I make sure that all the area is fully clean, then I'm going to go ahead and get a microfiber cloth. I'm going to use the same one that I used before to dry it. So I'm just going to get that and just give it a pass over onto each of the letters and just making sure that everything is nice and dry. So like I said, just take your time. There's really no hurry. Honestly, this whole process, it took me about 20 minutes, you know. Um, and so once you do that, then you just wait a little bit. And from there, we can go ahead and start installing the letters. So I'm going to start off with the M, just work my way from left to right. And this has two sides to it. The face of the lettering, it's covered by this white piece of felt paper. And all I'm doing here is just removing it little by little, just getting the lettering by its edges and just on certain portions. And once you go ahead and take everything out of there, this is what's going to be the face of the word. So once you have that, then we're going to go ahead and flip it around. On the back side, it has this red color adhesive or it's like a it's what's covering the adhesive on the back of the letter. So we're going to want to carefully peel that. And I'm just doing that with my nail, just pulling it up on the edge. And then once I have it, then I'm just taking it completely out. And once you remove all of that red uh, felt paper off of there, you're going to have the the adhesive exposed. 
so from there you just want to carefully just check the letter make sure there's no like uh, land or anything dust or whatever you just pull it out with your finger and then from there you can make sure that you're at eye level with the word because you don't want to be too tall or too low just make sure that you're nice and, and eye level so you can fit it uh, as perfect as you can and then once you have a really good feel to it and you'll tell you know because when you put the letter in there it'll fit right into the slot then after that, you just want to press it in all of the surface areas of the letter. And that's pretty much how you install each of these. So I'm going to zoom in here so you can just take a look at another example. But I'm going to go through the same process for each one of these letters. Basically just pulling out that white piece of felt paper from the face of the lettering. And once I have that completely pulled out, then... I'm going to go ahead and flip over the letter and the red adhe um, the red felt covering. You want to also carefully remove that. And I'm trying not to touch the adhesive portion very much because I want that the main contact of the adhesive to be the, the truck. So I'm just grabbing it from the sides. And from there, I'm just checking the letter, make sure everything looks nice and clean. And I'm just slipping it in there into the indentation and once i like the position of it then i'm gonna go ahead and press it into place and just pressing everything nice and uniform so i get a consistency all the way through and that's pretty much it so one thing that i recommend for you is not to go and wash your truck um, soon after you do this because I'm pretty sure the adhesive, it takes a decent amount of time for it to fully bond and adhere to the paint. Uh, honestly, I would recommend a good 24 hours. So once you do all of this, just let it um, bond to the, the, the paint, the truck and whatnot for a good 24 hours. And then after that, I'm pretty sure you can go and wash your truck and everything. It should be totally fine from then on and so right here basically the same thing just getting that lettering now some of these are a little bit more sensitive like this e it has like the the three little um lines there so i'm just the nice thing about this um is that it's a little bit it's actually like a little thick um so it's not so flimsy and whatnot so um you're e it's easy to apply basically so once you have that you get the I on there, the C, and then your K. And after that, you'll be all done with this. So that's pretty much the process of how you can install the tailgate lettering inserts on your 2022 Ford Maverick. This is the results when I bring it outside in the sun. You can see it definitely stands out. And this is what I wanted, you know, because how it comes from the factory you can't really, I mean, you can see that it's in indentation, but honestly, this pops out a lot more. So well, I hope you like this video. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and activate the notification bell. So that way you don't miss out on any more videos that we're going to be uploading in the near future. And so I'm just going to be showing you a few different angles of how it looks and how it stands out. And honestly, in person, I can appreciate it even a lot more than what I'm recording or taking pictures. Even from standing afar off, it definitely stands out. And I love how it came out, especially with this truck. You know, everything is like black, all the accents and the trim and everything blue and black. It just fits perfectly with it. So I highly recommend for you to get this for your truck as well. Thank you for watching this video until the end. May God bless you and we'll see you on the next project.